Hey everyone, today we'll uh, change the oil on this John Deere D140 lawnmower. And we'll also sharpen the blades over the deck. To remove the deck, you have to take these cutter pins off. And the ones up here. Do the other side. Now do this cotter pin in the front. Slide it up. I like to take the belt and wedge it. There you go. We'll clean all that up and then we'll flip it over. Place it up, we're gonna remove the plates. They're all the same, they don't look too bad. But we'll give them a nice little sharpen. We clean the deck with uh, just a flathead screwdriver. Now, before we go ahead and sharpen the blades, we'll drain our oil. So turn the steering wheel to the left, put your drain pan in place, and this is your oil drain plug. Press in and then turn. Okay, there you go. It's actually hitting shoot out, it's just going down, so that's good. We'll let that drain. And then while it drains, we'll sharpen the blades. But then simply with a grinder, and I just have a flap disc, we'll be grinding it this way on an angle.
looks like this side is heavier. It doesn't look too, too bad. So we'll just take a little bit more off this side. I just have a screw in the post to tell me where we at. This one now looks pretty level, so we'll do the other two. So we replaced one spindle already before, a couple pulleys, and we changed all the bearings and all the spindles. So some of them are greasable. We'll grease the ones that are greasable. We'll do that right now before installing the blade. grease do they take? Well, you do it until the grease comes out the other side. Now that our spindles are greased, our blades are sharpened, we can go ahead and install the go ahead and install the blades. Done, we can move back to the oil change, make sure the oil is done draining, lubricate this o ring, make sure it's not dry, install your plug back on. This plug, the way it works, the tabs go in here, you push it inwards, and then turn it and it locks it in place. So, put it into the tabs. Turn it, and then that should lock it in place. Wipe this stuff. Now the oil filter is on the other side, so we'll go ahead and open the hood. We'll turn the wheel to the other side now. Now we'll remove the oil filter. Sometimes you can do it by hand, sometimes you can't. Let me get a wrench on it. There you go. Perfect. We'll go ahead and install our filter. Make sure you put oil on the ring or else it might stick up on you and you won't be able to remove the filter. There you go, so that's seated. Then what you want to do is just turn it basically until it's tight but not too tight. All you're doing is just squeezing that o-ring so around there that should be plenty we'll clean the bottom pulley with uh, brake cleaner and we'll wipe it clean before we fill the oil We'll check the air filter. It's a little dirty. I do not have repla replacement, so we'll just uh, blow it with air. Good. 
now we'll, we're ready to fill the oil. We're gonna remove the dipstick. Clean the handle. Make sure it's all clean here. Put it back in. Yep, so we're empty. Lower mark you wanna add, middle you want, you're okay. And you can add more to that top line, that's where you're full. So we'll set this aside for now. Again, we're gonna use the best of the best, AMS oil, small engine oil, 10W30. The hole is pretty big, so we may not even need a funnel. We'll just pour it freely. As you're filling, make sure the uh, plug is not leaking, make sure the oil filter is not leaking on the other side. So we put one bottle in, we'll see where we at with the dipstick. So, we're still low. We'll add another bottle. There you go, so we're right at the full mark. That looks good. Perfect. Now, check for leaks again. Anywhere in the bottom. Drain plug, oil filter, and then now we'll move on to the deck. We'll check the tire pressure. PSI. So the front should be at 14, and the rear should be at Leaf 10. So we'll put it uh, to 14 and 10, and then we'll level the deck. All right, so we adjusted the tire pressure to the correct pressure, 14, 14 PSI on the front, 10 PSI in the back. I like to cut my grass at uh, two inches high, so I got three two inch blocks. I basically put one in the front, two in the back. But first I mount the uh, lower deck onto the machine, and then I slide these under. If they're too tight or they don't fit, I adjust the front or adjust the rear. John Deere made it really simple to remove the deck on and off. So first thing you want to do is install the belt. There you go. There you go. Install the washer and the clip. To do the rears, you want to bring this all the way down. Then you want to put this on. It goes like this, and I turn it, slides into here, put your washer, put your clip, There you go, snap into place. Make sure it's straight.
think the deck is leveled wrong. Basically at one, one and a half, two, two and a half, at two, we should have a two inch clearance in the back and in the front. And right now, it does not look like it. So, it's been leveled wrong. Gotta bring those, the deck higher. So we'll do that right now. Front is done. Not quite, it's not quite two inches in the back yet. There you go, that's pretty good. We completed leveling the deck. It's a pretty tedious process. It reminds me of a valve adjustment. You basically put your two inch blocks here, and then one on the other side, and then one in the front. You put your height at two and a half. I know it's a three right now, but you put it at two and a half, and they should wiggle. Now your adjustments are right here, on both sides in the rear, and then the front is right under the exhaust, right there. So counterclockwise, We'll bring it lower, clockwise will bring higher, and once you have that all perfectly straight, the front you can move it, the rear you can move it at two and a half with two inch blocks. You then raise it to three, remove your blocks, and then turn this one, the front one, one to two counterclockwise, one to two turns counterclockwise. Basically, you want your level, uh, your deck to be a little lower in the front, so then it prevents the uh, double cutting. Um, I'm basically following the manual for this. It tells you how to do it. 
Oh, page there. Right here. It's page 21. You set out your preference. Two inches is good to work with because you can make two inch blocks with wood. And then, yeah, straightforward. So now we'll go ahead and start it. We'll uh, cut the grass, it's quite long. We'll make a strip and we'll see how it cuts. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. 